Hello and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to try to answer the most important question about this game. Is Genshin Impact still a fun game or not? And why is it? So, let's start from the beginning. Eh, uh, wait, what? Anyway, first, I've been playing this game since day 2. Well, not day 1 because I spent a full day downloading the game using my slow as internet. But anyway, I've played this game for 1000 days, well roughly 5000 hours. For context, sometimes I play this game for 1 hour or less, and sometimes 12 hours per day. Well, I spend a really long time just exploring the region and do stupid stuff, but mostly 5 hours per day, so 1000 times 5 is 5000 hours. So in that time span, I've seen and experienced a lot of events, a lot of grindings, banners, spiral abyss, quests, drama, etc. You can call it pattern or something, I don't care. But anyway, I always thought stress, right? So right now, I will give you my thoughts and reason about Genshin after I played this game for a really long time. So, back to the main question. Is this game still fun to play or not? Well, it depends on who you ask. Alright, let's put it simply. Right now, the game is really different compared to when it was just released. Right now, if you want to play or you already in early game, there's a lot of things you can do like exploring the region, new mechanics, puzzle, doing quests, getting premium to pull your favorite characters, doing random stuff that doesn't make any sense at all, etc. So yeah, it's a lot of content. If you love open world game and love collecting characters and play your favorite characters in an open world, slapping some enemies, doing an action-packed battle stuff, yeah, it's a fun game, until I slap the reverse card on the deck. For some people, including me, this game is not fun to play anymore because of these three reasons. There might be more because some people might have a different reason why they feel the game is not fun to play and boring. But I will tell you the three main reasons why it is not fun to play anymore. First up, this is a complaint from other players about the game progression and exploration, quote unquote. Bro, it's getting tedious creating the materials, it's just too hard getting a good artifact, and it takes a really long time to build a character. Some characters kit sucks, getting premium is hard, the quests are too long, the map is too big, I keep getting rid of. The heck? Okay, hold on mate. Stop there. Well, I, I agree with you, the quest can be a bit too long, but I'll just sit back, relax, and enjoy the Arcan Quest podcast, and occasionally running back and forth. And for gameplay progression? Well, just take it slow. This is mostly a single player game with a bit co-op here and there. If you need help getting the materials, just ask the internet or other players to help you getting what you need. For artifacts, well, it's a gacha game so good luck with that I guess. It's okay to have a low damage. If you need to grind a domain, just do co-op and let other players help you. Because Genshin community is nice, right? Hmm. And for primo gems, I have nothing to say about that. Good luck. Maybe you can just swipe your card, I guess. For some characters, kit being sucks, then try not to pull them. Also, don't complain about the maps and open world. You should have known about Genshin being an open world, because it's already written on the website. Anyway, to the next main reason. So, Genshin is an open world game. And of course, open world games usually require a lot of space, and that is a problem in itself, because for some players, they just can't stand having a 50g game in their phone, well, they can just use it for other thing else, whether for self-image, updating another gacha game, doing other stuff, whatever is it. It's a really big problem, and the game size keeps increasing with every single patch, especially, you know, the next update will be Fontaine, it will be a massive update, and I'm pretty sure some player will stop playing the game. Well, mostly mobile players because they don't have the space to update the game. And this is just Fontaine. I don't know how big it will be when Snake Naya or Celestia is released. Well, if you play it on a high-end phone, PlayStation or PC, probably you just doesn't care about story that much, I guess. Alright, to the last man reason or a problem. Why this game is not fun anymore to play? If you already reached the end game, well, basically topped at air 60 well, I'm Ares 50, but I consider myself a really rich the end game. It is how I play the game is a bit different compared to general players. Every character or mostly used character has been built, got a lot of items, done with quest and exploration, done with everything, and that means there's not much left to do in the game, except for daily commission and using resin. And most of the event is just reverence like chains. It's just kind of boring. 
Well, some of you who just started a mid-game players probably is your first time doing it. But for me, including all those players who already played the game since release, some of the events already rerun more than two or three times, especially the nothing special and just slap the enemy battle even. You just kill them up and done. Everything looks the same, it's just kinda boring. But there are some events that I would like to see them rerun again, like hide and six, parry battle events, summer events. They're pretty fun to play, especially an event that require a co-op gameplay. Man, that is really fun. So yeah, it's pretty mixed. It's a fun game early stages, but it's not fun at the end because you don't have anything to the left. Basically any RPG game, I guess. However, for me, the only saving grace or the reason why I'm still playing games in this point, agreeing with some of the reason I mentioned before, are Wave and Open World. It's a perfect combination. I love open world games, especially there's a wave in it. I can just play my favorite characters, running around, slapping enemies, do random stuff like moving this guy into a city and going underground exploring how the game works. It's just really fun to play and makes me not to give an F about other things else. Well, maybe I should give an F about other things else, I guess. But anyway, what do you think, you games and players? Do you feel bored? Feeling the game is not fun anymore? Give a reason in the comments, also do you still play in the game despite of these reasons? And some of you that are watching that haven't played Genshin before, do you interested playing the game or not? Let me know. So that's it for today, my name is Farze, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in whatever video I upload next. See ya!